Olivia. Yes. You get baptized. Yes. How dang cool is that? Pretty cool. <laughs> that just led me down a path that was away from God. And before I knew it, I just wasn't myself. And I was depressed, unfortunately, and led me into some things that I didn't want to be in. There's got to be more to life than just working a nine to five, getting nice clothes and a nice shirt and making money. There has to be, there has to be more. Otherwise, I would be fulfilled. One day I just woke up and I realized, I, I think I know the answer and I think I know what I need to do. I think I was six or seven when my older, oldest cousin, Brianna, got baptized and I'm like, Whoa, that's so cool. I want to do that someday. Lucas was uh, delivering a sermon uh, about certain things like tarot cards and, and crystals, and I was just like, ah, oh. I felt personally attacked because <laughs> that's like was what I believed. He's like, you know, you should probably stay away from that stuff. And I was like, we need to leave. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> that was kind of interesting. And I came to understand that sermon as not so much um, as an attack, but what I heard with like a second set of ears was trust in God, trust in Jesus. You don't need the cards, you don't need these things. And little by little, I just started putting my faith in God and I started praying. That gave me this personal relationship and this feeling that I'd never had when it was the universe, when it was the energy. It was like, I belong to somebody. I belong to God. My dad, I'd like to thank my dad. When I was younger, he always, I mean, he didn't exactly know how to like, you know, read the Bible to me and stuff. So every morning I told him one time I didn't believe in God. So he would read the Bible to me every morning. I cried a lot because I didn't know what to do. I was only like seven, but like, after that, like he kind of helped me bring me to church and it like made me feel better. And he helped me a lot. So I had this fear of rejection. Like if you ask somebody for help and they don't help you, this fear of how that would feel. So I did everything myself. I tried to figure out everything myself. So this idea of relying on God, this entity that you've never experienced was just so foreign. I just had this moment where, um, where I realized how much I love my own kids. How, how you always want to see them succeed. I just realized that that's the same way God feels about me. When I decided to follow Jesus, like, I felt like more, um, I guess you can say stronger. Uh, like it feels like you, like you know you want to follow God. And you're going to continue to do so as long as you live. There was this one particular time that I just felt like I was really struggling. It might have even been during the Soul Care weekend, and that night I just practiced imagining Jesus around me, and. I actually pictured laying my head in his lap and I just fell asleep that way. And I felt so supported and certain in that moment that he was with me, right? It wasn't just um, a figure of speech anymore. It wasn't just um, something that you want to believe in. It was factual. He was with me. There was like one point in my life where I was like really struggling. I think I'm still in that point. I was I was just really struggling in life and I'm like, I I really need I really need this. And I guess that's how I like officially decided I want to be Christian. I really I really felt a closer connection to God because that's where I first accepted uh, Jesus as my savior. God came back and grabbed me. Like he didn't just be like, oh, you walked away. I'm I'm gonna come get you. Like no matter how far you've gone, no matter where you go, I'll come get you. I didn't bring it up to my mom and dad until not too long ago, but I'd been talking to her about it for a while, and she and she's like, okay, let's make it happen. And I'm like, yes. Realizing that I suddenly 
really knew who I was because I know whose I was. It means that you dedicate your life to God and you like follow him, you know. When we prayed about uh, that we have peace and I felt God right beside me through that whole thing. Following Jesus is a decision that maybe I feel like I've already made, but I haven't really gone public with that. I still kind of hide in the back rooms a little bit. So when the baptism came up and my fiance just dove right on it like a grenade, uh, it kind of put the spotlight on me, like why, because I wasn't even thinking about it, but then it was like, well, why not? And I realized that there was this hesitancy because I still wanted an escape route. Um, but I realized I don't need one. <laughs>